When you're tripping, it's an experience that is very emotional. It can be terrifying. Like, you kind of feel like you're dying. There's something to be learned from it. More of your life force lies on the other side of your fear, which I feel like psilocybin mushrooms force you into your fear, which I'm saying is, is healthy to face these things about yourself. Make you realize what needs to change or what you need to do better. And there are other parts of the experience where you really appreciate what you have and who you are and everything that makes you unique. The light and the dark is kind of all contained in that experience, but I'm speaking you know, from my experience on it. Well, it's basically a cannabis tent that uh, has been repurposed to grow mushrooms. But the point of me getting the tent was to just have an apparatus that is, you know, sterile. I've got the air filter in there so the air is clean. I've got the heater in there so it's the right temperature for the mushrooms. And I've got the shelves all rigged with lights. Everything in this apartment is like mushroom money, which I wouldn't be able to afford any of this if I didn't start doing that. And technically, growing mushrooms isn't wrong. You know, nobody's getting hurt over it unless, you know, your hypothetical scenario of like somebody takes too high of a dose and they put themselves in a dangerous situation. But besides that, it's like growing cannabis, you know, you're just taking something from nature and growing that. So for me, it's a tool to, for me to be better, you know, to look at myself and just life differently, but also to be able to grow that mushroom and provide that same change to somebody else. So that's basically why I started growing. And it's just an enjoyable process to begin with. It's just interesting. You know, fungus is pretty cool.